So recently you might have seen we put out a call for people asking questions of what you want to know about the Green Edge AIS girls on Facebook, Twitter, World Wide Web. Anyway, we've asked the girls, give you some of their personality and here's what they had to say. So Luce, have you got any training tips for the fans out there? They wonder what we do on the bike on, you know, we spend so many hours in the chamois, but have you got any tips for them? Yeah, I think I have one really good uh, training tip. Uh, it's uh, use the computer, put on uh, Google and put uh, a good uh, coffee place. Just find it in an area of 20k and then uh, have a smooth ride to it. Have a nice coffee and a ride back and then you really enjoy your training. My tip is have the lightest bike and the most expensive equipment because if you have a lighter bike then you can eat more chocolate. Yeah, in Italy people like to, I call them sticky, they like to stick on your back wheel. Yeah, so the, the aim of the training, how you get real good is try to get rid of them. So go <laughs> as fast as you can, for as long as possible, until they're gone. And what about on a bad day, do you just do the right hand or left hand turns on them saying, oh, I'll see you later, I'm just going here, because I've done that before. Yeah, or just pretend that your phone is ringing and be like, oh, sorry, I have to stop now. How do you find being on an Australian team? We're a bit weird, aren't we? <laughs> Not weirder than the other ones. <laughs> um, I don't really like this Vegemite. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into cycling? Um, met a boy, fell in love, <laughs> um, and then um, he actually dragged me out on quite a few rides, my boyfriend Ben, and um, mountain biking. And yeah, I got hooked, and now I do a bit of road as well, so I love it. Was it 20 or so years of cycling, 23 years? Have you ever wanted to give up? Um, yeah, maybe sometimes when it was raining, snowing <laughs> and hailing on me, but yeah, not, not really, no, it's fun. It's better than sitting in the office all day. And how about before races and after races? What do you generally do for your warm-ups and your cool-downs? Anything specific or in particular? Uh, I like to do an easy ride uh, some, sometimes, or uh, I really love the Italian neutrals. They're fast, dangerous, so yeah, then you have already the adrenaline through your veins. And uh, yeah, that's really nice. And after the race, just relaxing. And But maybe you also have some good tips for warming up. Uh, I generally take a bit of a different approach. I go with the make sure you look good because doesn't matter how you go on the bike in the day, as long as you're looking good. So a bit of makeup, maybe my nails are done before the race, and then, okay, you're gonna get a bit sweaty, but afterwards then I have to wipe down, make sure I look fantastic for all, the, all of our great fans who have it out there when they're checking us out at the races.